And what's been, uh, what have you been trying to get through the work? What needs were you trying to meet primarily at the top of your work and yourself? I have had a very severe gambling problem over a number of years. Um, I managed to kick the habit of that about 12 months ago, but unfortunately I've been left with enormous amounts of debt. Um, for me to get rid of the debt, I need to work. Okay. So now we have what the real challenge is. You're really working for what need then? I think mainly I just feel um, through the days of gambling, I've managed to get rid of the habit itself, but um, the hurt that, or the baggage that I have left is the debt. And that's just a constant reminder to me always. It doesn't matter, you know, how much I look to my future. I consistently have this bag that I carry around with me. So I focus on my work to try and free myself of the bag that I have carrying around with me. Well, what if you put the bag mm -hmm. down? Life wouldn't be as heavy. <sighs> and what if you took the bag and you took the bag and you put it in a little rocket and you shot it into the sun? Um, yeah, that'd get rid of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and after that's happened, tell me what happens when you walk outside. Um, the world's a lot, a lot nicer place. Life isn't so tough. It's not so stressful. And how does work feel now? L work's actually always felt great. I love what I do. Oh. I, I honestly enjoy what I do. I'm blessed to know that what I can do, um, I can earn money from, but I really do sincerely enjoy what I do. That's not, it's not difficult at all what I do work-wise. But unfortunately, I've been left with enormous amounts of debt. Um, for me to get rid of the debt, I need to work. Okay. And how does work feel now? L work's actually always felt great. I love what I do. I want to ask you that are watching, did something just happen? Now, you might think it's a little word game, but it wasn't. Watch what just happened. Right now, her reason for working just changed. True or false? Could you feel it? Could you see it? Can you feel it? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Now, how did that happen that fast? The problem hasn't gone away, just the bag. Hmm. The heavy bag she's dragging along. And what I'm doing with her right now, just so you know, is remember I said, your subconscious mind is the most powerful one of all, and I'll give you a clue. The brain re responds to symbols or metaphors more powerfully than anything. Well, first of all, it's great to see you and great to meet you finally. Um, Lindsay, tell me something. You look very, very soft and relaxed compared to the last time I saw you. Tell me what, what's catch me up, what's happened in your life? It's been a few years in this process now. Yeah, um, tiny life's never been better for me. It's um, really quite special now. I've um, really taken some time out for myself and, and spent, you know, lots of time looking inwardly at um, ways that I could change rather than having blame for this gorgeous man over here. So, um, yeah. Yes, I look at him, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just really about taking responsibility for where I was, I think, and um, yeah, you really helped me to see that. There were times that I was just mad with you, but. Um, yeah, you, you seemed rather angry at stages yeah, when we were interacting. Stages, yeah, but I know you do it with love, <laughs> but you know, there was times I thought, oh, I wish he was close. But I mean, it's just been an amazing um, journey for me. So, and um, one that I'm really so thankful to have had the opportunity to, to go through and it's just an ongoing process. And yeah, of um, yeah, so we're sort of tackling that together now, which is, which is really gorgeous. But our relationship is great and you know, we're working on heaps of stuff together and it's just awesome.